Hi, Master Nun here, and today we're going to answer a question. A little cold in the garage. And that question is, why does a propane tank freeze up? What happens, and why doesn't it run, run as good when it gets too frosty? So, let's uh, start out with a little bit of background. Uh, the large propane cylinder that I heat my garage with has uh, recently ran out, and I haven't got it filled yet. So I'm running my little garage heater off some 20 pound cylinders and those have a tendency to frost up and not run as good. So we're going to tell you why that is, explain kind of what's going on. Starters, this is a 20 pound propane cylinder and you know, aside from just calling it, calling it propane, another thing you commonly hear it referred to is LP. That means liquefied petroleum gas. Now, when you're burning a grill or a heater, or when I'm running my forge, you're not burning a liquid, you're burning the gas that evaporates off the liquid. Propane boils at negative 44 degrees. Now your tank is at negative 44 degrees because it's under pressure. The pressure prevents it from boiling. It holds it in the liquid state at a higher temperature because it's under pressure. When they fill your propane tank, they don't fill it right to the brim with liquid. They leave room in the tank, 20% or so, for there to be a gas. As the gas gets expelled from the tank into whatever it is you're burning it in, more liquid has to evaporate to then burn off again. So you'll get a frost line on the tank. Let's go take a look at a frost line. I don't know how well this shows up on video, but right there, there's a frost line. Below that line is liquid. And there's frost here again. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it showed up on my... Frost there below that line. Above that line is the gas. What happens is, is as the liquid turns into a gas it's pulling pulling heat from the room or the you know the outdoor air around it into the tank for that liquid to be able to turn into a gas and that's why it frosts up the tank cuz the outside moisture of the air then freezes on the outside of the tank and the reason that causes the your whatever you're running in this case my little ventless wall heater not to run as well is if it's if it's happening too fast then essentially this is your contact point it gets too cold for that that uh, liquid to be able to boil off and your pressure drops so and you know your your regulator on your tank in this case is going to be at a certain PSI like 15 or whatever but it's not getting enough gas to run your heater or your grill at 15 PSI so when your tank frosts up it's because you have a liquid boiling off into a gas sucking heat out of the outside air frosting over your tank and in the, and if it gets too excessive you end up with a drop in PSI, which allows, which prevents your furnace from running really efficiently, which means right now, in my case, my garage is kind of cold. It's, uh, well, it's shy of 40 degrees right now, and it's been running quite a long time. Uh, in this case, I don't really need it to be any warmer. It's pretty comfortable for me. This is Minnesota, so 40 degrees is pretty warm. When it comes to, say, the forge, when I'm trying to do a little blacksmithing, what I'll do is I'll just swap these tanks out when they get cold, put a fresh one in, and run that one until it starts to frost up, and just kind of play swap the tank to keep the PSI in my forge up. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we will catch you next time.